The fact that one day we could be building stuff from liquid hot magma is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. We've all played the game The Floor is Lava, but there's some places around the world where that's not really a game. Places like Hawaii and Iceland that have lots of volcanic activity, and that results in lava flows that literally turn the floor to lava. Now, normally they don't build too close to these things, so it's not much of a problem, but in recent years, especially in Iceland, these lava flows have increased. I haven't personally experienced it because I live in Minnesota, but some women have told me that a heavier flow can get places you don't want it to go. And this has been the case in Iceland. These heavier than usual lava flows have caused evacuations and forced engineers to dig trenches, channels, and barricades to divert lava flows from hitting nearby towns and a power plant. This has given a couple architects an interesting idea. What if you intentionally built these channels beforehand, predicting that this would happen, and had those channels flow into forms? And as the lava flows through these channels and pours into these forms like concrete, it would create roads and retaining walls and foundations and even the walls of entire buildings. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, damn, I hope they're planning on making a holiday in with it because that sounds ludicrous. And it might be a little far-fetched. The architects did say that if this kind of technology was focused on, it probably wouldn't go into full effect in all the places where it could really be applied until about 2150. But proofs of concept could start much sooner, and there's plenty of good reasons to try. Now, especially the simpler models where you just pre-dig trenches to pre-built forms could be done with existing technology. Now, this method would be low cost, but also relatively limited in scope. It relies on gravity to get the lava there, so you could really only build down, not up. And you have to wait on Mother Nature to, you know, provide you with the lava, so it's not exactly on-demand construction. But it could work for things like retaining walls to protect structures from future lava flows, parking lots and foundations. You could possibly even form it into blocks that could be transported for construction elsewhere. So if this is really taken seriously, that's construction techniques we could possibly see in the near future. But if you want to build up against gravity, it's going to require some new technologies. One concept would be to drill down into the liquid magma below the surface and pump it up to the surface to be used where and how you want, pouring it into forms like you would regular concrete. Just concrete that you know happens to be very, very warm. The only issues with this is that it's a lot of infrastructure for a relatively limited reach. Everything would have to be built pretty close to the pump because it's not exactly like you can pump it onto a concrete truck and drive it across town. The other concept is a bit more Terminator-esque, but if, uh, you know, we're heading for an AI robot apocalypse, dystopian lava buildings would fit right in. This plan would call for robots that would just walk around in the lava flows and scoop up the liquid hot lava and then 3D print buildings with it. And that's probably where the 2150 estimate, you know, comes in. Now you might be saying that sounds cool and all, but you know, why? And that is, is a good question too. And it has some good answers. First off, you know, why not? Wouldn't, wouldn't you want to live in a lava house? Yeah, you would. But aside from that, I mean, first off, lava rock is already somewhat resistant to lava, which could provide some structural protections against future lava flows. As concrete gets more expensive, in this case, the material is free because you're just picking up what the earth is, you know, leaking. It's strong. I, I mean, it's made of rock. This is already what the islands of uh, Hawaii and Iceland are made of uh, entirely. And lava rock is already what's used in places like Iceland to support foundations. And 90% of their concrete is made with basalt, which is just pulverized lava rock. And then there's the environmental impact. Concrete requires a lot of energy to produce. 8% of global carbon emissions come just from making concrete. So this would be an environmentally friendly way to build with a naturally occurring material. It would eliminate the environmental impacts of harvesting and trucking sand for concrete and eliminate the carbon footprint of actually making concrete. Now granted its impact would be limited because there's only certain places in the world that have lava flows to begin with, but it would have an impact nonetheless and is the type of out of box thinking we need if we want to leave a world that is habitable for our grandchildren. And the fact that molten magma could be managed to mold magnificent mansions and make mystifying municipalities, well that is pretty mind boggling.